an email today, and I just started reading it on the broadcast. And it, and it deals with uh, an area of expertise that I know that you know something about. And uh, that is um, Bill Redding, or no, excuse me, Bill Johnson and the Redding, California, the, the other Bethel Church. Okay? And you, yeah, the, uh, the, yeah, you came out of that church, is that correct? I sure did, and uh, you had some family while I was there, for sure. Well, I appreciate that, and give all the praise to the Lord. Now, are, are, you, are you familiar with a guy named Rob Skiba? I am not. Okay. So you don't have any stake in this either way, is that correct? No, no, no. Okay. What can you tell everybody, and I'm going to put the earpiece up to the microphone, what can you tell people about your knowledge of Sozo? Do you know what that is? We have, um, and I, I, I don't know if everybody's hearing this. Let me check with our Skype group to see if they can at least hear some of the things uh, that you're saying here. Um, what, that, and, and apparently they have. One of the things that you're saying is that this whole Sozo thing is they put you in a room and they chant over you and they, they, they wave these weird feathered things over you and they proclaim fire, 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 and things like that. Is that correct? Okay. So it's a okay a, to, a total new age environment. All right, now um, the, the, have have you ever heard of the the idea of a sozo wedding? Do you know what that would be? Never heard of it. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me tell you let me tell you what he's saying. He's saying that he had never heard of a Sozo wedding and he still has a contact who is inside of Bethel Reading that has uh, deeply involved in everything and has not heard of that either. So, um, you know, maybe just a, a misunderstanding between um what what Sarah asked um or, or what Sarah heard from Rob Skiba and so on. Um, but anyway, let me let me finish with um, this. Um, let me finish with this email so far. If you could hang on the line just for a minute, uh, because I may want to ask you a question. I appreciate it. Anyway, his re all right. Uh, she said his response was shocking. He told me that he had studied under Bill Johnson that he and his wife Sheila had a sozo wedding, whatever that means, and basically that I was paranoid. Needs to say that was uh, quite a blow. Uh, but let, let's just let's just say that number one, what what we know or what Sarah is telling us um, is that Rob Skiba has a relationship with Bill Johnson. Now, she sent uh, a follow-up email a little bit later on, and she said, "I have to add something. I don't know if you've ever heard of Peter Goodgame." He wrote a book called Red Moon Rising. His research into the Antichrist is really amazing. I think this guy's a real gift of revelation. Well, about a year ago exactly, he was on Rob Skiba's blog talk radio show. Good Game went into how he is now into Bill Johnson's garbage, and he said on there, um, 
and he, uh, he said on there, and even said that someone at his church in Hawaii prophesied to him, telling him he should stop studying end time Antichrist stuff. I found that odd. Since listening to that, I have never kept up with Good Game because of his endorsement of Bill Johnson. I know he is really, really into healing rooms and stuff of that nature there in Hawaii. But anyway, he and Skiba are friends. Um, do you know of this, uh, uh, so far, do you know of this fellow named Good Game? Have you ever heard of him? Okay, he said he's heard of him, but he never wouldn't know him to see. You wouldn't know him if he was standing in the room next to somebody else you didn't know, right? Uh, okay, so far, I appreciate that. And if you um, if you have any other information, I'm going to kind of deal with Sozo a little bit and kind of bring people up to. But if you have any more information you want to share with us, send me an email real quick, uh, or call Gary and he'll write it down and he'll shoot it up here. So far, I appreciate it. God bless you, buddy. All right. I sure will. Everybody's going to pray for show for today. God bless you. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Now, let's get back to um, let's get back to some things. Number one, I'm going to deal with the whole Sozo thing um, just to kind of keep you up to date. Now, uh, we are hearing from one witness on on um, Skiba's involvement with Bill Johnson. Um, I would like to have two. I think that would be I think that would be good. If he is involved with Sozo, here is an example of what happens as a result of this Sozo method that Bill Johnson, Redding, California, the anti Bethel Church promotes. Here's a here's a YouTube video uh shot by people who just came out of a Sozo meeting. Here it is. I can only handle so much of that, even on video. I, I, there is no way in the world that I would ever be in the same room with people doing that stuff. But that's the result. Now, you get it. You understand. This is a, this is a drunken spirit is what this is. It is a spirit of drunkenness. And some things here that, uh, you know, I, I, I went through this today. I just recorded the Watchman broadcast or for next week. It's part one. 
of our series on the rapture or the translation of the church. And uh, I, I picked up on something interesting here. Um, and I, boy, I, I don't know if I can just pull this scripture verse here, but it, the Bible talks about um, where we're looking for the blessed hope and that we are to live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world and that we're to deny ungodliness and worldly lust. And then it says, looking for that blessed hope and glorious appearing of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And what the Bible's telling us in that verse is that Christ is coming. He's coming to gather together his saints. He's coming to appear in the clouds, and we're going to be caught up with him. And that applies, that applies to people who have denied ungodliness and worldly lust and who live soberly. The sozo blessing is a curse. It is a spirit of drunkenness. We are called to be sober, sober-minded. We're to teach other people sobriety. The Holy Spirit is not a drunkard, and he does not cause drunkenness. He causes sobriety, right thinking, proper thinking, logical discourse. That's what he, that's what he is. Now, um, here is, now that is, as I said, that's an unknown. Here is what I know about Skiba. And I, and I, it's, it's easier for me if I don't meet these people and if I think I'm not going to meet them ever again. But I've met Rob. I will probably see him again. By then he probably will have heard this and other things that I'm going to say. I can't help it. Here is what I know about Skiba. Um, he is Hebrew roots. That in itself, I mean, I can't say that if you want to play like a Jew or whatever, that you're not saved. But when I hear people making statements and talking as if the only way to please God is through going back and performing the works of the Old Testament law. When I hear things like that, I immediately know that that is wrong. You cannot please God by keeping any of the law. You cannot do it because if you don't keep all of it, you don't keep any of it. And this is something that the Hebrew roots, the sacred name people and, and others, Seventh-day Adventists, this is something they cannot comprehend, and you can argue with them for hours, and they cannot comprehend it. They keep telling you, but we have to try. We have to, we have to do what we can. We have to do everything that we can. We have to keep the law. We got we to gotta keep the feast. We got to do this. We got to say the name right. And I'll say this. I don't think it's necessarily an evil thing to say Yahshua. But I am going to tell you this. His name, God's name is not Yahweh. That is not what is recorded in the scriptures. It is not Yahweh. It is Jehovah. That is his name. That's what's in my Bible. That is what I trust. That's what I believe. But these people tell you, you got to do this, you got to do this, you got to do that. And we know we can't do everything. Well, then according to the New Testament, you're not doing anything. It's either all or nothing with God. And when you have this mindset that you're only saved if you are trying to keep portions of the Old Testament law, then you, you are not under the terms of the new contract. The new contract says it is by faith, not by works. That means any works. That means the stuff that you're doing. It is not.